still talking shit about me You really think it matter, but it don't As long as you can keep that shit from around me You know I'm doing better on my own They asking every time I'm coming home Nina's pregnant, man Congratulations, bro. Yo, I'm about to be on Google. She don't want to keep it, though. She scheduled an abortion. And I knew she would do some shit like that, man. She the fucking devil. Yo, that shit ain't right. That shit against her religion. I know, but I ain't. she told me I ain't got no say so in the matter. Man, this is your baby, too. Is she serious? Yeah, I told her. I want to keep it, and I'll do whatever, but she ain't trying to hear it. Yo, fuck that. I'm about to go talk to my arms, yo. I'll be back, yo. Bro, you can't let her do this shit. All right, so, what you got going on today? I just got to go to my mama's house and talk about this baby thing. So, you are pregnant? Not after today. Yo, why can't we just keep the baby and raise it on our own? Because it's not your baby, and the actual father is a deadbeat. You got to give that man a little bit more credit than he do. He's a good dude. You weren't saying that when you took me away from him. <laughs> That's all on you. I'm just saying, black men will be appreciative if black women will be more supportive of us. Hold the fuck up. Black men have been degrading black women for years. Black women stand on the front line and march for y'all asses and you still fix your mouths to degrade us. Call us angry and put white women on a pedestal. Uh-uh. Look. No. Look, babe, I'm not trying to get you worked up. I'm just saying, when a black man tells you that we're limited with opportunities, you just got to be supportive. Now you sound like my brother Rob and Carl. I'm not trying to hear this. Let me leave you with this. I got a bachelor's degree in chemistry. You are lying. You ain't got no education. Name five numb metals from the periodic table. Carbon, oxygen, fluorine, iodide, nitrogen. Don't you ever sell my intelligence like that again. It makes sense. It all makes sense. You are a drug dealer. You're a chemist. I'm making sell drugs out of the house because mm -hmm. they won't hire me to do it in the lab. Now, go to your mom's house. I'm going out of town for some business. I'll be back next week. Hello? Hi. How are you, baby? I'm good. Missed you. Miss you too. Yeah, come over tonight. Yeah. We need to talk. I'm just here to see mommy. I know you said something. We'll deal with it later. Baby? So you're a doctor now. Can I call you uh, Dr. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> you can if you want. Cool. Listen to Kwan, we need to talk. I need to apologize for my absence. You don't have to apologize, Mama. I do. When I had you, I was 17 years old. I was a young mother, and I had a fight through postpartum depression. Wait, what is that? It's the depression you get at childbirth or sometimes afterwards. Um, mine was severe. I mean, my mood swings would change all the time. I cry. I think about suicide. I. I had panic, panic attacks. It was, it was bad. Does postpartum depression last 13 years though? No, just smart ass mouth. Anyway, I let you go live with your grandparents because I wanted to get help. Then I just started using the pills and I abused the drugs. So I want you to hear it from me. No, no. Why didn't you stop? Why didn't you stop for me? I tried to. Right when I was getting clean, my brother was murdered. That was some of the toughest pain I've ever dealt with in my entire life. I tried. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to go through all that. What is that anyway? Let's find out. Okay. It looks like you're gonna be meeting your father after all. Keisha. Oh, Keisha with the fat old booty. Man, man. What, I was, hey, what's this nigga? What, what's going on? Hey, yo, check it out. Hey, yo, you're in the wrong the neighborhood, my nigga. Check it out. Hey, you don't like you bags doing? around here, dog. Come on. Get all this shit. I know you want to talk your shit about me. You really think it matters? You need to repent and have that baby. You see why I didn't want her to know? You do too much, Lil Rob. You shouldn't be trying to kill your unborn child anyway. Besides, it's against our religion. You know what else is against our religion? Polygamy. Uh, wait a minute. You are not out there cheating on your wife. Mom, I'm married, remember? <laughs> it's so funny how I get condemned for every little thing that I do and everyone else gets to live their life free as a bird. This baby is coming out of me within an hour. Mom, did she tell you how she broke up with Carl? And now she's about to go get an abortion because she went ahead his fabulous life with this drug dealer? The first correct answer you got your whole entire life. And to think you did it all by yourself. It shows growth. Anyways, I got an appointment at the chop shop that I cannot miss. Nina, have a seat. I need to tell you something. <gasps> It's gonna be good. When I was 14, I met your dad, Robert. When I was 17, we had a little Robert Jr. <sighs> that first year as parents, it was hard. Your dad didn't have a job. He could not take care of us. So I started dating a local drug dealer. And he took real good care of Robert and I. Your dad, he was not supportive at all. Then I got pregnant. I told Robert and he enlisted in the army. While in the army, he was able to take care of us after I had Nina. And he has been taking care of his family ever since. <sighs> but Nina, when I see you, I see a lot of negative traits that I had in me. And the cycle just seems to keep repeating itself. Even when I have thought I've tried very hard to keep it very deep down inside. But life has come full circle. Because although little Rob is Robert's son, he's not your dad, Nina. Damn, mama, that's fucked up. <laughs> Bitch, please. I'm not trying to hear this. I'm sorry. You know what? I always told you, you and that church are both hypocritical. Nina, you right, but I'm sorry. Nina! Okay, let me talk to you. Yo, wait a minute. You don't let me go on the screen. I should probably turn it down now, but I ain't worried about no cell. Nina, Nina about you ain't got to do this. Call your nigga up. Tell him you won't make it. Put your things down. Time to get naked. Girl, I got plans for you. Let me show you what I'm about to do. Okay. Was that Rob? Yo, bro, what's it's for you? Let me show you what I'm about to do. I've been waiting on you, and you know it's true. 
I know you got a man, but the way I'm feeling, that ain't none my business, baby. And you do it well on the first round, and your man keep calling, yeah. Your man keep calling. Whoa. We've been up all night, ain't catching no Z's, ain't trying to tease. No need to leave you and I are right where we wanna be. He's waiting, waiting.